It is April the 29th, 2021. I'm Andy, and this is the Menorcan Mullet Report from the Golden Ray Rex site in St. Simon Sound. And today, we went back over to the port to look at the aft end of Section 7. And we see back at the Rex site there, the VB 10,000. And just scanning across Brunswick back to the port, we find the wreck. Uh, section 7 here in Brunswick. So we had the drone and obviously put it up to take a look at the section and get in there a little tighter. We know that there were some questions about uh, this area. Uh, much easier for us to see the main propulsion engine in, uh, in the wreck from this end. And we got in there and took a pretty good look at it. And uh, we're going to share this, share these uh, images with you. Now we've had a lot of questions about the propeller shaft, the propeller, and the rudder. Um, all three of those units were removed very early on in the process, and were actually taken offshore. Uh, to one of the artificial reefs and placed out there uh, for future enjoyment by those guys. But here, just to the right here, that actually uh, appears to be the coupler that uh, the propeller shaft would have been attached to and run on out uh, the rest of the section of the Golden Ray. Uh, we can see uh, that that seems to be the spot there that that shaft, the drive unit, if you will, uh, was attached and back out uh, to mount the propeller. And of course, then the rudder system would have been behind the propeller. So here we're flying, uh, checking out the decks um, from this angle. And we can see again, this the tearing and the ripping that uh, that chain did as it worked its way up through the golden ray during the, its uh, its separation. Now, this this section was actually cut quite a while back. This would have been the cut between section seven and eight. Um, would have been the second cut that they performed here on the golden ray. Um, Plenty of videos up uh, as we were uh, watching that uh, that piece being separated. But here we see the cargo that was inside there. And one thing we noticed when we scanned across the bottom here was the amount of silt that had accumulated down in the whole area of the uh, Golden Ray. And this was a concern uh, for the salvage crew when they began lifting it, the engineers were put, were really watching this uh, because of this additional weight that was added onto the ship during the process here. Uh, uh, this, you can really see how much of that material had accumulated uh, while this piece has been uh, down uh, in the water in the St. Simon Sound, he heavy silting in the area. And, uh, it accumulates and it, it gathers whenever the water slows down. This stuff will, will, will gather and, and it gets really, really heavy, really thick. And here, this is the aft, aft area of the engine. And from what we can see here, when we looked at this, we think this was a seven cylinder engine. If we count what appear to be cylinder heads on this engine, we counted seven of these. Uh, all in a nice little row, and uh, we think that this was a seven-cylinder diesel engine powering uh, the Golden Ray. Really wish we, we could get in there and actually take a look at this thing really up close. We know this thing is just massive. You can see just how far back this thing goes. Got to be an incredible amount of weight just in that one particular piece uh, just that engine unit um, on this ship. 
But again, we see uh, the piping, uh, materials necessary uh, to make the ship go, uh, systems for moving either lubricants or uh, hydraulic systems, just a massive piping and the wiring. You know, all this just kind of ripped through, cut through by that by that anchor chain and the VB ten thousand when it when it did its deal. Good shots. Um, we see just a wide variety of vehicles in there, different kinds of manufacturers. Um, you know, I guess there's no rhyme or reason to how uh, this, they appear on the deck because they've fallen and stacked up from one another uh, during this process. And we know that a lot of these a lot of these vehicles uh, that were actually in the in the wreck were removed uh, during weight shedding activities um, by the crews. They were trying to get out of it as much as they could uh, to help reduce the weight load when this piece was was cut and finally lifted uh, this past week. And this uh, red canister that's hanging um, and had to be uh, put in place at some time during the salvage, we, we could see this uh, from our vantage point uh, during the, the cutting operation, and we were really wondering what that was. And we eventually found out that is a dry chemical uh, fire extinguisher. Uh, a large one and you can see that it was uh, it has wheels on it and it's more like a like a dolly system that they could it's pull around it's a, it's a very large uh, dry chemical fire extinguisher uh, and that uh, had caught our attention we didn't quite know that was but we've been able to identify what that was and again had kind of looking in here at where the uh, propeller shaft with that coupler in there where that sit where the shaft would have attached right there that is right in the center of the keel of the golden ray
we took a, a fly over the lifting points that were um, installed. These were fabricated, custom laser uh, measured and then cut uh, for the curvature and um, the distance of the golden ray set in place and welded in there. This is the system that carried all that weight during the lift. And we flew over and got a, got a good look at these, uh, this system that was installed. These uh, lugs were put in place again early in the, in the operation. And uh, every, all the lifting uh, lugs are in place and ready to go uh, for, the, uh, for the remaining cuts but just a good look at those and how the fabrication of those and how they were attached. Well, that is the report for the day. Hey, thanks for watching. If you haven't done it yet, hit that subscribe button. Send us some comments. Most of all, we want you guys to stay safe out there.